this one so it's okay or or that's just if I want to So hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm uh, ready to um, to do some warm up for the today's uh, uh, sixth game of the Carlson um, Kayakin match, and let's let's get started with some banter blitz. Actually, I'm playing only premium members, so get uh, your subscription uh, fixed, and uh, we we have some nice uh, banter blitz. All right, let's, okay, I take just some. Okay, Mr. Nazo playing E4, I play my usual Sicilian. And, okay, he's playing the B3 Sicilian, which is actually quite popular by guys like Yubava and Rapport. But let's see how he's going to handle this. Yeah, I'm not sure this is hmm, the right idea to play this opening, but okay, it's kind of open Sicilian, but I have um, there's this bishop on b2. I don't know if it's good or bad, but um, Yeah, this taking on taking on c6 should not be the most principal. I'm not sure what I want here. Okay, I'm just going to develop. Okay. Okay, I was just, uh, yeah, so now you can see what's going on here. I missed some small detail. So my opponent is trying to mate me, which is kind of usual for me to get mated. Okay, so let's do something funny. Maybe it's not going to end up funny for me, but just trying a positional exchange sacrifice. So the king is very weak here, but um, well, it's an exchange, but I, I want to play rook b8 and start to push my pawns like c5, c4 and Okay, he's trying to be tricky, threatening some mate on h7. This is going to be very, very sharp. I'm not sure how this is going to finish.
Oh, I, my God. For some reason, I, I made this mistake to, I didn't. Okay, so this was not a, not a good start. Okay, that is some small technical problem. I will be back in a minute. Okay, let me try to find a new challenger. Um, so, where do I find my new challengers? Yeah. This one. Mm -hmm. All right, we are back in business. All right, so, so I made a little little blunder. It can happen to anybody. It seems C4, E5. Now let's get started. Now let's play for real. So the English opening. And I like to take this knight to play with the pawn structure. Oh, this is going to be risky because now the pawn on c4 is going to be quite weak. So if I manage to blockade and to fix this pawn on c4, so my idea is actually simply to play knight c6 and knight to, to a5. Yeah, he's closing, but I don't know how he's going to defend on the c4 pawn. He can do it for one more move, like queen a4, but I'll play b6. And next will be bishop a6. Of course, after losing this first game, I'm completely mad. I just came in and I don't know what I had. Just some kind of hallucination. As I promised, I'm going to attack the C4 pawn. And I will take it. Okay, this bishop is kind of annoying me, so let's let me get rid of it. This actually I should not really do because it's really it's opening up the position, but yeah. 
Yeah, I think he should have played bishop h3 to, to pin this pawn. Yeah, this is a little bit um, unnecessary. Okay, so he wants to change the bishops, but I like to keep the c4 square for my pieces. And now the white king side is going to look extremely uh, vulnerable. Now I have a lot of choice. Okay, let's go with the knight, see how he's going to react. Maybe not the best move, but... Okay, now I can take this guy. Bring in the rook. Can it be that bad? Yeah, okay, we can change some pieces. So maybe he wants to play Bishop takes h6, but I don't think it's a really such a strong threat. Okay, let me bring the knight, because the knight should go back to c4 at some point. So knight is going to c4. Okay, let's play this one. take this pawn. It cannot be that bad. All right, so back on track. So let's see, let's take this guy. He has a higher rating than me, so I don't know what that means, but Tal's Gambit. Is there some kind of delay? Mm -hmm. Let's see if he goes for King Senior or Grunfeld. He's going for Grunfeld. All right. Okay, let's try to play some obscure system. Gruntel is a very, very tricky opening. Hey, if you don't know, really know what to do as white, then you end up in, in trouble quickly. So, you, you, so it seems that my opponent doesn't really know this system. That's the good news, because I wanted to surprise him. So my idea is not to play Bishop h6 and to mate him, but probably I'll, maybe at some point I won't, but first I want to see how he's going to react to this. I just want to have the solid structure c3, d4, e3. So in typical in Grunfeld, 
normal your structure is being attacked, but when the, when the white pawn is on e4, Yeah, bishop e6, yeah. that's not a very natural square for the bishop, but maybe also afraid that at some point I will play d5. Okay, I just play natural moves. And since the center is so solid, this bishop on g7 is really uh, not uh, doing its job uh, properly. So maybe at some point he has to play something like e5. But for now I'm trying to, to seize the open c file. And you, you see this bishop on g5, kind of annoying, putting pressure on the e7 pawn. If you want to get rid of it, you have to play h6, g5. But that's also kind of weakening. So I put my rooks on the semi-open files, it cannot be that bad. Although I cannot, don't think I can take on b7 because of some tricks with knight takes d4. Uh, just in case he has to keep this in mind at, at, at some point. Bishop e4, this might not be a, a bad move. But let me offer him a change of bishops. Now it's an important question, is he going to take the knight or the bishop? Probably it's better to take the, the bishop because then after that you can play move like b6 without mm, being bothered by a move like bishop a6. But having said that, okay, let's see how we will react to pushing the pawn. So I'm just wondering if there are some tactics like knight b4. Of course I cannot take because my rook on c1 is hanging. Okay, he is going to use different tactics. This is a bit tricky what he's doing. Let's see what he's going to do after queen b5. Now I really threaten to take. So if he's moving the knight in the end the e7 pawn will be will be hanging. should be an important pawn. It's not over yet, but okay, this pawn should be quite annoying. So if I can remove this knight on d7 as a blockade, then it's uh, over. We are not there yet, but... <laughs> so 
So it seems that my opponent's connection is not that great. Yes, if you want to play Internet Blitz, you need to have good um, Internet connection. So I think my opponent ran out of time. So okay, let's let's play against Cup of Putzfrau. Or was it my connection? I do, I don't hope. So let's see what's going on here with the connection. Okay, next guy. Let's keep the pace a little bit. Mr. Putrov playing the Slav. Let's see. Okay. I used to play this line also myself as black. It's it's actually quite a solid line. Now this is a pawn sacrifice, which normally they don't take this pawn because it's kind of risky if you take on c3, b3, and bishop a3 is coming. You can even take a second pawn, but it's uh, Yeah, so he's trying to to get this e5 square. Bishop takes f3 and pawn takes e takes d4, followed by knight to e5. Is a way to play it. Okay, so he doesn't. Now let's see. Okay, let's go for it. Not sure what I'm doing is that great, but we have to try our luck. But this is kind of nice for me because now he has this isolated pawn. And okay, although it's not the end of the world, I have now this bishop on f5, which is actually quite well placed. And black doesn't really want to take on f5 because pawn takes f5 and I have basically, well, the strong pawn on f5 covering this e6 square. And now he has to think about some moves like queen b5 is a, is a threat, serious threat. Okay, now he's trying to be funny, but hmm, this shouldn't work. Let me first take this guy.
yeah, pinning. Now he has to do something about it. Yeah. This one here. Where is this knight going? Yeah. I just I had to offer a draw because I had to go to the bathroom. It was an interesting game. Just a moment, I'll be back. All right, this feels very really much better. Let's see who's next in line. Playing Kapov Spootschau. Hello, Kapov Spootschau. Uh -huh. Okay, you're going to do like this. Okay, this funny guy. Yeah, this strange gambit, but well, actually it's just a pawn. Okay, okay, are we going to play like this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm 
Mr. Funny. So if he goes bishop takes f3, I go queen takes f3, and he can take my piece on g5, but I go bishop takes c6. If he takes back, queen takes c6 and winning the rook. So now I'm curious what he's going to do. Cannot be serious to play like this just to give a pawn. And uh huh. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I'm in for some fun. So let's see. I'm not afraid of your tricks. So basically now I am I want to to take to force the bishop on g4 to an, to go somewhere. Actually Maybe he should take on h3 now and hope for the best, but... But hopefully he's not listening. Okay, what is this? He's giving me the piece. And let's take it then. Okay. Interesting. What does this guy want? Okay, let me just take this guy. And now I'll play just boring chess. Queen d4. So idea is if he goes bishop h2 check, I will go knight takes h2, attacking the queen. This wasn't really necessary, but okay. Probably this will simply kill the game. Yeah, cup of putzrau. Mm -hmm. Some work still to be done in your gambit. All right. Okay, let me just take this guy. I cannot imagine that this is going to work out well for him. Maybe we'll play g4. Okay, give some checks. No checks today. Okay, now it's maybe my turn to do something. Let me just first collect the rook. Yeah, and a check. And one more check. Yes. Okay, next. Now let's play some real chess. Play Mr. Devil Seventy from Spain, playing the Tromposki. 
interesting opening, but after second move d5, I believe black is more than okay. I don't think we're going to see the Tromposki again in this match. It's an uh, opening to try a few times, but not as a, as a main weapon. Okay, we take some space here. It's not the end, but actually I'm hoping he will take on b6. Because now I have maybe some pressure. So this is kind of a typical way to play for black. Because now I can always play b4. A3 doesn't stop me from playing b4, because I will play b4 anyway. Okay, he's trying to break my structure, but I like to keep it solid by playing e6. And later, if I manage to play b4, the c3 pawn will be weak. Okay, so let's do what I promised. And actually white should get counterplay somewhere, probably against the pawn on d5. It's not so simple. Because my d5 pawn is also kind of weak. Okay, this is a bit risky, but I wanted to to secure. Now this move really helps me a lot because now I can put my bishop on e6. He should have played bishop e3 right f3 right away, and now okay, he is threatening to take on d5, but I have king d7. And now I can try to attack the c3 pawn. And you see uh, this knight on f1, okay, he probably should regroup it to f1 and go to e3 to try to attack it again, but I'm not sure he has time for that. Yeah, this is kind of when you have this kind of structure when it's getting a very solid structure you really have to come up with a new plan yes so okay let's do this and play b4 on one hand okay my structure is bit soft now because I have to be careful for some sacrifice on c4 and pushing on d5 but I don't see right now what he can do maybe he can go bishop f3 back let's say if I take on c3 knight takes c4 pawn takes and d5 so I have to stop this Actually, there are maybe better ways to stop it, but okay. So he is renewing the threat. Okay, let me first play Bishop D6. Yes. So basically, now I stopped him from playing knight takes c4, bc4, d5, because now my king is 
and now I don't see how he can stop me from killing his structure. Okay, he's going for it anyway, but I don't see what's the trick. Mm, yes, but okay. He wants to play rook d2, but um, now his, his position is falling apart. Okay, now basically everything wins, but So I'm going out of the pin. Yeah, and I'm just taking some pawns. Okay, let's just play with the king, because it's kind of fun. Yes, and this is over. Especially if you give one more rook. All right, let's get an, another one. Let's play some Mr. Blue Car. Okay, let's see, Mr. Blue Car. We're going to play aggressive against, so we play Scotch. I mean, Rulo Pless or Italian game. It's, uh, it's more strategical. This is more aggressive. If, I, if you look at the games of, for example, Nepomniachi, they are doing quite well because they are aggressive players with very sharp tactical vision. So actually it means that I shouldn't be playing this, but okay, I still am trying my luck. I don't know the theory here so well, but so let's hope I don't get lost in the opening. Yeah, let's make this prophylactic move because sometimes they go d7, d5, and I want to see what are my options. The h6 is a little bit mm, too cautious, in my opinion, because there was nothing really flashing on g5 yet. Yeah, this is correctly played, positionally correct. Okay, let me just, okay, I, maybe I should play here e5, but then the position is becoming a bit static. So let me put some pressure on the guy by playing queen f3, at least to get my pieces active. Probably if correct player, black should be able to defend himself, but well, you know, this is Blitz. And okay, now we start to play for some tricks. Because okay, I have this isolated pawn, but on the other hand, I have active pieces.
And then some guys I would not prefer to have this position as black, but um, okay, so he's playing bishop d7, and okay, we're just going to play for some tricks. Like this, bishop c6, and okay, we go for d5. Not sure it's that great, but at least now he cannot take on d5 because I have a, a little trick in the end, which if I take knight takes d5, bishop takes, bishop takes, oh, he is falling for it. Now bishop takes d5, rook takes d5, queen takes d5, knight f6 check, and queen takes queen. Okay. And that's a piece that should be enough for me to bring it home. Yes, thank you. My opponent is going to resign. Thank you very much, Mr. Blue Car. Okay, let's take the next one. Mr. Giovanni. And let me... Okay, so let's try to play something unusual little bit in Yobava style. Yobava, he likes to play obscure openings, but since he has some interesting ideas there and nobody's really studying them, so he has uh, some advantage in the opening. Although the openings may be a bit dodgy, All right, so. Mm, yes, oh, this is kind of similar to the Elvin's counter gambit with a tempo up. Okay, so my opponent is he's playing for the pawns. So if I sacrifice one pawn, I should be able also not be afraid to get the second one. And this is going to look quite dangerous. You can also take a third one. Okay, he doesn't, but okay, let me, should I bring the knight? Let me bring the knight. Okay, he's two pawns up, oh, I, I hang a piece, mm -hmm. that is not good. All right. But okay, it's still blitz. I'm a piece down, but I still have some initiative. We're not just going to give up just like that. King d8, of course, is... 
king is relatively safe, still on d8, but of course you want to castle at some point. Okay, we're just going to sacrifice some pieces. That's that's going to be clear to me. If he had played b5, I don't think I would have moved the bishop. All right. Mm -hmm. Seems I have to give up another piece. This is running out of hand. This is not looking good. Yeah, two pieces should be too much. And I must say my opponent is playing quite well so far. Nothing can be said. In fact, it's quite hopeless what I'm doing here, but... Yeah, I shouldn't be trying to play like Yobava. Okay, I'm just trying to confuse my opponent with some some tricky moves, but that's, I'm not sure it's going to work. Yes, so, um, okay. He's just taking everything. Basically, I can resign, but uh, I don't want to, but... So far, my opponent didn't play any single bad move, but... Okay, well, now I'm peace and a rook down. Yeah, this is looks pretty ridiculous, but okay, what to do? At least now I have a threat. Ah, too bad. Rook C8 check was my threat. Yeah, 
and now my opponent starts to panic. That's good. Yeah, now he's running out of time. Well, okay, what well, can I say, I got completely smashed. So, somebody now with a very complicated name, but it sounds Greek. So we play some Queen's Gambit, but I like to play it a bit more aggressive. Okay, let's first attack this bishop to see what he's up to. And now let's take the pawn. And let's try to keep it. Okay, so right has some space advantage, but I just try to to keep my my queen side intact. And Okay, we take back like this, so now, now my bishop is active. So actually I'm quite happy about my position. Okay, now this is a tricky move. He's inviting me to get a pass pawn, so let's take the, take the invitation. So now I just want to stabilize the position and uh, well this pawn on c3 simply will be too strong. Okay, maybe my opponent is dreaming of mating on h7, but no way that's going to happen. Well, the reason is I have this move. Almost blown out the piece. Queen c7. Maybe I should pay a little bit more attention. Let me take this guy. And the queen is probably quite well placed on b7 or c6. Let's put it on c6. Yes. So I don't know what he wants. Mm. Should I change queens or not? 
I like to keep this knight on a4 out of play. So, okay, let me just play knight d7. Okay, that me stop him from pushing e4. I don't know if it's so such a big threat, but I'd like to have this control. That maybe at some point I can put my knight on d5. Now the question is how he's going to get counterplay. Actually, now I realize he has a way to to regroup the knight. It's actually a knight to b2 because of that. There's this pin on over the C file. Yes, so he heard what I said, but I'm going to roll him over on the queen side now. Now the knight is gone. Yes, knight to e5, but um, this should be okay. Okay, then let me just take this guy. Yeah, he cannot really stop my pawns. So, another one with a difficult name, Epinikion, sounds also Greek to me. So, mister, you have to make a move. If not, we take another opponent. Sorry, my opponent was a bit late making the move, otherwise I would have had no problems with playing him, but um, I was simply a bit late, or he was a bit late and I... Okay, this is some kind of sharp Sicilian. Poison palm. So basically, I put a lot of pressure on the C file, and maybe at some point I will play either knight b6 or knight c5. Okay, let's play knight c5. He takes it, I take it back. Yeah, maybe the door pawn, I should have stopped him from doing that, but it's not such a big deal. If I manage to open up the position, then it's it's not not uh, not so bad, anyway. 
So my idea is basically I have to somehow to activate this bishop on on f8, which is not so easy, but it could be by at some point playing d6, d5. Okay, Mr. AP Nikium, I will play you next if you challenge me after this game. Ah, I realize I'm playing a non-premium member, but okay, he got lucky this time. It's not the idea that I play non-premium members, but okay, he got lucky. I was not paying uh, any attention. Yeah, this is a peace sacrifice. Well, I have basically nothing better. It looks a bit scary, I have to say. This could finish badly. Yeah, this is a good move. Also another move was bishop b5 check. And pawn takes rook d7. And I think then I'm also busted. This looks also pretty horrible. That's what you get when you're playing non-premium members. You get punished for that. Yeah, this looks pretty hopeless, but let's make a few more moves before we resign. Okay, nice game, you win. Okay, I will give AP Kinyon a, re a rematch. The only problem is now he has black. Let's play some normal chess. Queen's Gambit. Let's see if this Mr. Sturridge is his classical, some classical games, some classical players. H6 is not very common. Normally they play a move like C6, Knight D7, Rook E8. So my plan is very simple. I want to play rook b1 and play b4, b5. Had this pawn been on on h7, then knight g6 was an option. Yes. In fact, there was also this move knight to e4. 
uh, maybe a better move than knight, putting the knight on h7 because knight is not very active there. I think we can safely agree on that. So in like 45 minutes, me and Eric Hansen, we're going to do the live commentary on the sixth game of um, the Carlson Kayaki match. And actually I'm replacing uh, Peter Schwitler. He was supposed to be doing this, but it um, seems um, he had some other things on his mind today. Okay, let me pay a little bit of attention to this game. Okay, he wants to go knight g5, so I have to stop him by playing f4. My pawn structure looks very nice. It's not very clear what black is going to do. Okay, g5. You're going to do like this. Interesting, but well, let me first take this guy. And let's switch now to the H file. Because now, okay, it seems that Black has weakened himself on the king side, so we're going to to attack the h6 pawn. And I'm going to move my pieces slowly towards the black black king. So okay, let me try this. Getting all a bit awkward for black. You see how quickly I can switch from, from the queen side to the king side. And I'm just going to put my knight to G3 is a very nice uh, place for the knight. First we're going to harass my opponent on C6. He defends, very good. Okay, his knight is going to be good on F6, it's something which I don't like of course. Okay, probably I just want to trade it. Okay, black is still solid, this I have to say, but a bit passive. So I just put my bishop on f3, just put some extra pressure on d5 and c6 pawn chain. So I have to go back. And black is simply very passive, and passive is not very funny. Now I have this bishop takes d5 threat. Okay, it's being ignored. Oh, 
Okay, now he wants to to gamble. Okay, I just go back. Yeah, so this move, but I can say he was playing for tricks, of course, but okay, let me just see what will happen if I just take it like this. Okay, just for the public. I let my opponent give some checks. You should not be afraid of a few checks. Yeah, now I have, okay, I'll take the lazy solution. And I have a rook and game with a few pawns more. Okay. Now pawn and game. This will do. Okay. So playing against the isolated pawn from the Netherlands. Let's see how you can fulfill his dream. Yeah, this is a bit risky what he's doing because now I have a few options. Okay, let's start like taking on d5. And play e4. So now this knight on g4 is hanging and I'm going to chase it. Keep on chasing it. Now the problem is you can choose to go back, which of course is not very funny as usual. Or he has to go forward, which is the most principled, but he might lose it there. So let's see, he might lose it, as I said. Yes, isolate pawn. Now your knight is hanging and your queen is hanging. Somehow you allow me to push this e4 pawn with tempo.
yes, isolated pawn, but this is not going to finish funny for you. Okay, my king is not on the best place, but I'm a piece up, so that should do. Okay, one check, and as usual, one check or two not particularly impressed by. We just bring the pieces in and well Sometimes it's an easy game. Just now putting all pressure on E7. So after this one, I will I will go. I'll play maybe two more games, and then we get ready for the the live uh, commentary. Yes. So the only problem with this move, Bishop F6, is Queen takes D4. And another piece has fallen. Isolated pawn is fighting and fighting, but um, I don't think it's going to help him. Okay, so let's play two more games and then let's see if we still have some interesting opponents. Okay, Rasputin 88. If he's going for Volga, he's going for the Volga Gambit. Let's see. So let's play some old system which was popular in the end of the 80s. I used to play a Volga myself, so it's, um, it's not a bad opening. It's just not a good opening to play for for a win. A 
this is now already a critical moment in the opening because now black has to be prophylactic where to put the queen actually this is knight e7 is knight e8 is not a, such a good move because now i can have my ideal setup Now it's kind of hard for black to, to generate counterplay. He wants to use the b5 square, so I'm playing this move a4, which is, of course, weakening the b, the b file. However, it's also stopping him from playing knight b5, knight to d4. And now he has to do think what he's going to do with his knight on b6. It's kind of in the way. This is very unusual to give your, your beautiful bishop. Because now, okay, I, I at one point I will going to play e5 or try to, to use the dark squares. This is very risky. And it's getting riskier and riskier. Because now he has to think about what he'll do with the rook on b3. If the rook moves, I take the knight on a4. If the knight takes c3, bishop takes b3, and you'll lose a piece. Oh, that was easy. Thank you. Okay, if, if we can win one more game quickly, then I can play maybe one more game. Toby04. So let's see if he goes on Queen's Indian. No, Queen's Gambit. Maybe Ragusin. Going to the Slav. Okay, very interesting. Now this can be become very very sharp. But then you have to take on c4. And then you go to some lines where you you give a pawn. This is a little bit premature to take on c4 because it this should be helping white a lot. And now I'm supposed to get some kind of grip on black's position. Yes, so normally I would like to take on c6, but there will be this pin. So I don't need to, I can just go back. c5 is not a threat, so... So basically I'm controlling the game, so that's what I like. And now I just need one more move and black is 
history and black is history so now my knight will go to c5 and it's over that this bishop on b7 is dead Yes, but now where will be your play? My knight on c5 is simply too strong. Okay, maybe he wants to play e5. No, I don't think so. Because e5 I can take and the bishop on b7 is hanging. So I'm just going to slowly to put some pressure. Okay, I have so many options here. This is, of course, also a problem. Too many options is also not so good. Okay, let's play for tricks. Let's play for tricks. Maybe our opponent will fall for it. He doesn't. But still, it's not so funny. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can win a pawn. What to do? Then I have to take the stupid bishop. Take this pawn. Somehow black is still in the game and I don't like it. He's a pawn down but he's still fighting. Okay, he's two pawns down. Now it's going to be hard for him. Now it's not going to be easy. So he wants to play maybe. Mm -hmm. I have to pay a little bit of attention. I cannot I could not take on b5 because knight knight to d4 but this looks good for me and yes he's trying to solve his problems but there will be new problems I don't know what he wants, but okay, I just want to to queen.
Yes. Okay, the next pawn is coming. Just blown at one pawn, but okay. That was a little bit unnecessary. But we are still winning. Okay. Okay, this is it for now. I think I just have to check with Eric what's going on. <laughs>